Guess what? I just made all of these images. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> it was actually really easy to do. And I'm going to teach you in this episode how to make your own AI images. Get ready to rock. Stay tuned. I have a couple steps for you. The first one is you're going to go to Discord. Look below this video. I'm, on, I'm going to include a link for it so you know how to do this. So I'll include the link. You're going to go to Discord and create an account. You need to do that first, okay? Then you're going to go to MidJourney. When you go to MidJourney, it's going to ask you, do you want to log in with Discord or I think or Google? Choose Discord. As long as you're on the same browser doing this simultaneously, it will it will kind of auto-populate your information or you can just save your Discord login and log in uh, into mid-journey with your Discord login. Okay, that's really important. And then what you're going to do in the bottom corner here, my picture is probably covering it, but it says uh, my username right here in mid-journey. Go into mid-journey, click there, and it's going to say manage subscription. So you do have to pay for this. I'm on the $10 a month plan. So I would say even if you get in and make a bunch of stuff and cancel, it would be worth your time getting in here and figuring it out because this is a way for you to like truly make your social media unique. Okay. This is also something you can turn into a business and make uh, custom images for clients. So go ahead and do the $10 or whatever level you want to come in at. The next thing you're going to do is you are going to learn how to prompt uh, the Discord, uh, through Discord, you're going to learn how to prompt the mid-journey bot. So you, there's different channels you can go into. You're just looking for this mid-journey bot here. Do you see the little flag here? Don't go in the beginner channels and all of that. This is a way for you to have your own thing going on, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to prompt your, your bot here. And the way to do it, you want to save this because you're going to use this over and over and over again, is forward slash imagine. That is the prompt. This is what you need to type in to get it to come to here where you're going to put in your prompt, okay? This this is what you need to know, like for real, write this down. Okay, imagine. So now we have to put the prompt in. So I actually asked ChatGPT to help me because um, when I was trying to do it myself, the results were um, not amazing. <laughs> so come over here and just ask ChatGPT, hey, I'm making some images for my social media. I want to give really good prompts and even tell ChatGPT you're using MidJourney. I'm using MidJourney. I want really good prompts. This is what I'm looking for. So for me, I'm using this for my faceless account. So I said, I'm just looking for high-end, luxury vibe, darker aesthetics, um, kind of more serious, postured, confident woman. Uh, and that's where it gave me this prompt right here. So let me just look at it. Realistic photograph of a woman in her 30s attending exclusive art gallery. Okay, so let's see what it comes up with. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit enter as long as you use the forward slash imagine and you type what I just showed you in the prompt box, it will look like this. So at first it'll say waiting and then it'll actually start populating like you're seeing right here. Pardon the interruption, but I need to let you know about an urgent announcement. We have a brand new workshop, Automation Domination. If you're sick of struggling, you're overwhelmed, you're not showing up in your business powerfully and you just feel really scattered, and then it's time to infuse the power of automation into your business. I have a workshop for you that I'd like to invite you for into. There's details below for that. Inside of Automation Domination, you're going to get a two-day workshop with me, beautiful guide with my most powerful chat GPT prompts in it to walk you through how to use AI and automation in your business. And you're going to get my must-have automation tools. And also you're going to get a special gift how to use ChatGPT to create digital products. So you can get ChatGPT to help you with your freebies, your lead magnets, your low ticket, and even your courses. So click the link below. We'll see you inside Automation Domination. Now, as you can see, and this is also key, you want to put a realistic photograph because otherwise you can tell it's AI generated, which isn't the end of the world. But these look so real, don't they? Like, it's just mind-blowing. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. I will tell you, especially because I chose like high vibe luxurious. I did have some where like the girls like boobs were kind of hanging out. So what you can do, you can't, the only, the one thing I wish it did like chat GPT is you can't redirect it. You can't say, please give me that again without the woman's boobs showing, which I, maybe you can, I don't know how. So you just have to try again. Um, but when you're over in mid journey, you can, do, you can just hide those is what I do. Okay. So here's some things that I've learned by doing this. First thing, if you like these images, if you click U1, it's going to give you a higher quality version of it so you can download it. 
I've actually found it to be more helpful to download in mid journey because right now we're in discord. Okay. So I'll show that to you in a minute. U1 is this one. This is U2. This is U3 and this is U4. So think of one, two, three, four. Now this is what's really cool. If you don't like what you got as a output, click right here and it's going to regenerate and try again. Okay. Then watch this. If you like, hmm, I kind of like, I like uh, this one right here. She looks kind of serious. This is the third one. Go to B3, which means version three. So basically the we want a variation. I shouldn't say version three, a variation of three. We're telling it we want a variation of number three. So if you do that, you can see waiting to start and then I'll pause it, but it'll go ahead and it'll populate up to that 100% and spit that out. Now, as you can see, this is the one right here that we asked for some variations and you can see it's a little different. Her expression's a little different. The angle's a little bit different. This one's totally turned around and then this one right here. So it's great because if you want to kind of have develop even a character, you know, you could be able to have some variations here of it. Or maybe you're like, oh, I kind of like that better. So that's really cool that you can do that. Then uh, the other thing I want to show you over here under my images. So come to mid journey and come to organize. OK, so this is the this is the best way I have found to download the images into a high quality so let's say this one right here. Um, if you don't like it, so if you you just want to like hide it, uh, click the little paragraph signal here and you can click hide it. And that's what I do when I don't like it. <laughs> okay. And then um, download. So that's the download button and that'll allow you to download it as high quality. I think you can right click as well, but you just check the quality of it when you do that and make sure it's not pixelated or anything like that. So the image, I mean, the organize uh, is really great. And I bet you can, um, I don't know if there's other tools for, uh, it says you can copy the prompt here, which is great, or search the image if you need to find it in mid journey or in discord. So that's what that would like look like as well. And that is literally it. I mean, I just taught that to you in what, five minutes. It's just mind blowing. Okay. Oh, the other thing I did not mention is sizing. So what you can do is when you do your prompt, you can tell it what size you want. So if you're going to make these for reels, just Google what is the size ratio for real covers. Or if you're going to use it for Instagram posts, it's a square shape. It's pretty easy, right? But maybe you want to do something for a cover for StreamYard or Teachable or your Facebook group. You can actually prompt it for that as well and just include the sizing on it as well. Okay. So this is awesome. I think it's so cool. And I have a gift for you for watching this. So just look below the video, you'll see a free gift. Um, also, this kind of material that I'm teaching you is something that we've included inside of our membership program, The Vault. So if you're watching my stuff and you're just like, oh my gosh, can really, I want to learn all the things from you. I love the way you teach. I love your energy. Then come into The Vault. There's a lifetime access. And with lifetime, you get all my new private label rights products that we create. So you can flip those and you get access to over 80 courses. We customize everything for you. You get me on Zoom once a month for Q&A and a once a month accountability Zoom. It's the Netflix for entrepreneurs. You need to be a part of it. We have lifetime access and we also have a, a annual option as well. So look below this video. I'll include that as well. Thank you for watching. I can't wait to see your AI images. Hit that subscribe button if this was helpful. Until next time, get late in your business and set your soul on fire. We'll see you soon.